Iqra. Iqra باسم ربك الذي خلق. Read in the name of your Lord who has created. These were the first words of God revealed to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, while he was on retreat in the cave of Hira near Mecca. Prophet Muhammad received this revelation through Archangel Gabriel. This remarkable event took place in a society that was generally illiterate. One where literacy had no significance, as they were not that much aware of other cultures except through oral narrations. Verses and chapters of the Qur'an continued to be revealed to the Prophet over the course of 23 years. These verses or chapters are either labeled Meccan or Medinan, based on the city in which they were revealed to the Prophet, either in Mecca or Medina respectively. Although the current sequence of the chapters of the Qur'an may not be significant, the order of the verses within each chapter is important and immutable. It is very intriguing that many chapters are named in reference to natural phenomena, alluding to the evident connection between us and nature. God on multiple occasions in the scripture swears by natural phenomena or elements. For example, in the 95th chapter, God swears by the fig and the olive. This demonstrates one of the reasons we believe everything is sacred, because everything is a manifestation of God. Another important point to note is that the Qur'an is revealed by God word by word, Therefore, no translation of the Qur'an is considered to be similar to it. Only the Qur'anic Arabic text is considered as Qur'an because these are selected words by God which he used to convey his message. To this effect, Imam Sadiq salam, while sharing a prophetic teaching once said, تَعَلَّمُوا الْعَرَبِيَّةِ فَإِنَّهَا كَلَامُ اللَّهَ الَّذِي كَلَّمَ بِهِ خَلْقًا Learn Arabic, for this is the language which God used to speak to his creation. This is one reason why in our ritual prayer, when we are communicating with Allah, we use the Arabic language.